Good evening, and welcome to Tucker Carlson Tonight. Sound familiar? <laughs> well, it is if you're here. Are you here? Good evening, and welcome to the Paul Leslie Hour's review of the book Tucker by Chadwick Moore, published by All Seasons Press. <laughs> Tucker is the biography of Tucker Carlson, who's considered one of the most significant people in media and politics. So, Let's hear what Paul has to say in his book review of Tucker, releasing August 1, 2023. He's such a part of people's lives that they feel like they're on a first-name basis. I'll never forget a famous recording artist telling me that any time I wanted to interview him was fine, except 8 o'clock. Watching the tuck, he said. When you think of his peers, they're all spoken of less familiarly. Sean Hannity, Anderson Cooper. Did you hear what Tucker said? Watch this clip from Tucker, my former neighbor Bill would say, phone in hand. All broadcasters could only dream of that kind of first name intimacy. Most people like Tucker Carlson's energetic and witty delivery. Tucker is a current affairs and political commentator with the showmanship of a sports announcer but I'm convinced it's not just how he says it. The writing of his monologues are on a different level. His voice is even recognizable in print. Back in 2021, when Carlson's book The Long Slide came out, I wished someone would write an authoritative biography of the man. An autobiography wouldn't do. It would need that outside viewpoint. If the right writer came along, he would be able to present the complete picture. I love reading biographies. My home is packed with them. I want to read about Sinatra's life, but also George Washington's and countless others. Having read a slew of books about people, I'm confident that Tucker by Chadwick Moore is among one of the very best. Look up Tucker Carlson. The left and corporate media sneer and vilify him. For his fans, most of what they see of Tucker is from his broadcasts, where we get flashes of who he is. So much has been said about the media personality, but in Moore's book, Tucker, we get to know Tucker Carlson, the man. Tucker is nonfiction that reads like a novel. I apologize for the cliche, but it's a page-turner. I devoured it in just over a day. Moore captures the essential details of Carlson's life, but also introduces us to many in Tucker's family, his wife Susie, his brother Buckley, and father Dick Carlson, whose life, Moore remarks, deserves a book of its own. There's also fascinating perspective from people like Justin Wells, his loyal producer. When we find someone fascinating, it's not just the rough outline of their life that makes them so. Moore gives you everything you'd expect, but he's wisely shown us so much more. It is a person's quirks and idiosyncrasies that tell us so much, and Tucker is full of intriguing minutia and colorful personal details. God is in the details, as a German proverb goes. There's also a lesson about making assumptions. The subject of the book is, after all, a San Francisco-born Grateful Dead fan. The book also gives you a good idea about why so many people find Tucker Carlson so appealing in spite of the wrath that bubbles over from publications like the New York Times and just about everyone else in the mainstream media. Although his previous network tended to reach an older demographic, Carlson reaches many more kinds of people. As the book points out, he speaks the language of young people, particularly young men. We're at a time when all of the data indicates young men are in trouble. It's rare that a broadcaster can connect with so many types of people, in different age groups and backgrounds. There's nothing elitist about Tucker Carlson. Mike, a police officer, is quoted in the book saying, Thank you for having a voice for little guys like me. Chadwick Moore illustrates how Carlson is able to find out what people in America and around the world are experiencing and feeling. He stays in close contact with everyday people, and it was fascinating to read how he achieves this. Having read Tucker, I feel like I better understand Tucker Carlson's worldview. There has always been a greater purpose to his broadcasts, and Moore brings this out. You're given this amazing thing, your life. 
Tucker is quoted in the book, and Carlson asks the important questions that we all must answer in one way or another. What are we doing here? Where are we going? And what are you going to do with it? If you listen, every broadcast Tucker Carlson has done is connected to these questions in some way. Tucker by Chadwick Moore is a fascinating look at one of the prominent voices of our time, who is somehow still the everyman. The book is a much-needed reminder that it is within you to be courageous.